Mars is there, waiting to be reached. Plus Aldrin said, the second person to ever set foot on the moon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mahana Nimis Marabumi, and I am a student from SM Anugritiga, Yogyakarta. Today, I will be talking about my opinions on why humans should explore Mars. The story of Mars began 4.5 billion years ago, when gas and dust whirled together and formed a fourth planet from the Sun. Mars is the second smallest planet in the solar system, with a diameter just shy of the width of Africa. Its blood-like appearance inspired the ancient Romans to name Mars after their god of war. Billions of years ago, Mars had been expected to be Earth's smaller twin, with liquid water on its surface and maybe even less. Volcanoes such as Olympus Mons, the largest volcano, has ever erupted. It is three times the height of Mount Everest. Water on the red planet still exists today, but they're mostly in the form of polar ice caps. Because of factors such as the presence of water, some scientists believe that life may have existed on the red planet, and it may still exist now. So what is Mars like today? Today, Mars is dry, desolate, and cold, with temperatures dropping up to negative 142 degrees Celsius. It's like we're in Antarctica without any clothing. <sighs> and Mars has the four compounds that we need for life. It's hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and also carbon. The gravity of Mars is also lower than the Earth, so it's easier for us to move around freely. Since the 1960s, scientists tried to discover what Mars can teach us. How planets grow and evolve, or whether it has ever hosted alien life or not. So far, only uncrewed spacecraft has ever successfully made the trip to Mars. But that could soon change. Why should human explore Mars? First, it requires scientists to develop new technologies. Scientists are required to develop new technologies for reading life in ancient rocks, trying to send news from the Mars to Earth, and other many kinds of stuff. The second reason is that it could encourage space tourism. Do you know that it only takes six and a half months to reach Mars from the Earth? Wealthy tourists may likely take a trip to Mars. They can enjoy the weightlessness, and they can also see the stars outside from the Earth's atmosphere. And the third reason is, over the past centuries, people have figured out that Mars is quite capable of hosting ecosystems, and it still might be capable of hosting microbial life. Mars' size is half the size of Earth and its surface area is similar to all Earth's continents combined. So basically, the people on Earth can also go to Mars. In the 2030s, NASA already made a plan for the first foot stepping onto Mars. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk also have repeatedly said that Humans should be multiplanetary species if we are to survive. Life on another planet may be far for the near future. And it's kind of weird, right? But if we are to live on another planet, Mars may hold the key to the survival of humanity. Thank you for listening.